Hey folks, Dad here with Elevation Diecast Racing, and it's time for some Friday Night Lightning. We've got a lot of cars missing out of the back parking lot here. I have been going through them um, quite a bit, running them and being surprised at the runs that I have been seeing coming out of some of the cars that were just sitting in the parking lot here. And I can assure you, I have gone through each one of these sitting over here in the garage and shop area. And I gotta tell you, I wish some of these cars were faster. One of my favorites is that Cougar, but he's a dud. And in the weeks and months to come, Friday Night Lightning is going to be what you're going to want to check out to see um, what's fast and what isn't. And there are so many Johnny Lightning cars that I have that aren't fast and that aren't known to be fast um, on the track. Unfortunately, this Cougar is one of them. You'll notice how skinny that wheelbase is, okay? This, mm, at one time, I thought had potential, but as you're about to find out, he is a Dudley Doolittle. And in case you're looking at the Blue Max, you gotta watch out for wheels like that because these Blue Max do have the potential yeah, they can be fast, but with the wheel in the shape that it's in, this is what he'll do. He seems to roll pretty good, but a 215 isn't going to cut it at the Johnny Lightning Challenge. But in this week's episode, we are going to look at filling the spaces, the last six spots in the Johnny Lightning class which currently is made up of 30 of the fastest Johnny Lightning that I have, aside from the one, two, three I have in my top tier. So this is the Camaro I sent to Scale Racing Channel in the last tournament for the middleweights, and uh, I'll show you his speed. 206.7 is screaming down this track and he just set a new record for johnny lightning that's his record so he just broke his own record 2067 so those are definitely some times you'll be wanting to shoot for i don't know how it is on your track but that's how it is here at mile high raceway really really stoked about that unexpected but that's what the Johnny Lightning class is all about. I figured they really do deserve to be in a class of their own. This is the Coca-Cola Studebaker. Uh, we'll take a look at a run from him. 2077, not very bad at all. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna take a look at the number 24, Roaring Rudolph and see what time the gatekeeper is holding as of right now. So we'll get him up top here. We'll give him a couple runs and then we'll see and determine and go from there. 2111 is very good. So anything sub 213. is kind of where you want to be to get into the ranks. So, let's take a look at tonight's rollers. Every one of these cars have been on this track before several times. This one was surprising. He was sitting in the back parking lot. Back parking lot. Back parking lot. So, we're gonna get into these and see which one of these Johnnies are going to make it in the, into the class? And we'll take a look at those vans a little bit later on. 
First up will be the Coca-Cola Polar Bear Camaro taking on the convertible Corvette. Let's see what they got. Ooh, two one one two is a good time and an eight thousand speed Corvette now with the advantage. And the Corvette, wow, with a two one zero six. Let's go. He's moving on. Next up, we're gonna take this yellow Jaguar and this Hemi. Let's see who takes it down the lane first. And thank you for joining us for this week's edition of Friday Night Lightning. Here at Mile High Raceway. Ooh, 2128 eight, and 9. So the winner of this race is going to face that 95 Camaro next. I want to see some speed. Let's go. 2122. Two, two. All right, let's see it. Good race. 2116 one, to a 2 0. Mmm, 2109. I can't help but get him advanced. He's running really good times. So we can eliminate the Hemi Cuda and the vintage Jaguar. Next up, we're gonna take a look at that different version of the Black with Flames Camaro. And the classic Fox Body Mustang. This should be a good race. Woo! <laughs> 10 thousands beat by the Camaro. But that Mustang was coming back on him. And this Mustang was running 215s. That's why he was sitting in the back parking lot before. So you got to keep working with your Johnnies. Keep working with your Johnny Lightning. Don't overdo it. That's where a lot of mistakes get made. And <clears throat> the feedback I get is I can't do anything with Johnnies. Well, you're probably killing them with uh, too much graphite or mixing oil and all of that stuff. The only thing I ever do to a Johnny Lightning that runs fast out of the package is nothing. I leave him alone. If he's running good times, maybe give him a light dose of the PTFE. Roll them, let them sit and dry for an hour, roll them again, let them sit, roll them. But I wouldn't mess with the graphite too awful much. So a 2123. So we'll put the Mustang over here for now. And the Camaro. Now, I will show you a couple of cars that do take graphite. Um, this commemorative, he's a graphite kid. X-Men, he's graphite. This Lincoln. Um, the only way, and I'm going to show you this, um, well, because you're a fan of the channel, and you want to be fast in Johnny Lightning, so, <laughs> if you can do it, you Johnny F Lightning fans know what this is. This is the smuggler. You pull off his caps, dust them up, put them back on, and I put a squirt of PTFE on the outside where the wheels touch the chassis. <laughs> And you'll see him in action here in a little bit. But there's ways to make your Johnny Lightnings fast. So. Um, let's see. I know one of these other ones is a Graphiter. Yeah, X-Men, and this one here. They are graphited. So, I believe that's it. The rest are, I just use PTFE. You do what you want, but 
That's what I do. So let's roll the Oldsmobile in the Pontiac. Woo, 2113, I like it. 2113 by the Pontiac. Also has a 9000s advantage. Not bad. 2115 is going to move them up. So 212, 213, 211. Moving on to the next round. Let's roll this one. He came out of the back parking lot as well. Was once in the ranks. And of course the Chi-Town Hustler. Uh, let's see how they roll today. It's funny because they do, um, they do roll different from week to week. It's pretty remarkable. Look at that. Go, go, go. 2126. And a 6,000s beat by the GTO. 2117 to a 1-9. And we'll put him aside for now. 2112, 2 so 113, 112, 119, right there. All right, so next up we're gonna roll this 72 Nova against this Willys. Whoo, that Willys a 2107, let's go. <laughs> 2113 doesn't beat an 07. But the Nova will join the 211 club, which is pretty much where you're gonna wanna be, I am certain, to compete in the Johnny class. So however that would translate to your track, I don't know. Here we got a custom Thunderbird. I like this car, nice long wheelbase. Custom Thunderbird, taking on this super sweet Buick, or, um, not Buick, Chevelle. Chevrolet Chevelle. This is the car I wish was really fast. He obviously did something in the garage because he's out here racing. Oh yeah, 2132 though, not very impressive. 2132 and a 5,000 speed by the Buick. Sorry, the Chevelle. Why do I keep saying Buick? <laughs> But the Thunderbird comes back. 2125. He'll move on. And the Chevelle will join the 213 Club. Most likely going back to the back parking lot garage. And we'll have to work on him a little more. Okay. Um, two. A panel truck here. And a Mad Maverick. So the weight on these guys, Mad Maverick is going to come in at 64.2, under the 70 gram limit. Panel truck, 60.8. These, some of these can be very fast and as well as the Mavericks. So we're just kind of focusing on possible fast castings to race. Johnny Lightning. Mad Maverick at a 2119. Let's go. That's not too bad for for that casting. Wow, the panel truck. Huh. I don't know what happened to the Mad Maverick, but the 2119 is gonna move him up tonight. And the panel truck will go in the 213 pile. Oh my Lanta. So another, it's the Proc and Howl. Gasser, or not Gasser, but that's just the Willys. And a 62 Corvette, hard top. So the, the Willys, we'll get some weights on these two as the night progresses. He's 46, 47 grams. This I got in a two pack, I think for five bucks at Timber Dan last year, 46.4. But man, these Corvettes can move. Corvettes are, there's some Corvettes that Johnny Lightning has put out that have some speed. 
2119 to a 2-0. And I think the Willies is going to get them. No, the Corvette punches them. 2-1-1. Very, very good. But we do have four over here in the 2-1-1 pile, so that's also a good sign. All right, let's get back and see who is going to move forward. The other one's going to just have to take an L. 2-1-0-7. I like that a lot. That Corvette is running very consistently. And... Um, but every now and again, he'll flop a, a goofy run. So looking for consistency, this is another reason why I made the Johnny Lightning class is because, it's because um, they're not known for their consistency. That's why you don't see them win any races. So 2107 though, this one's showing to be pretty consistent. So that's why I, another reason I created the Johnny class and we'll just race him up against Johnny Lightning. That way Johnny Lightning has to win. <laughs> it's a fun way to get Johnny Lightning to win. 62 Corvette. See what he weighs. 48.2 convertible not a bad cast Camaro and the Firebird up next should be a good race Ooh, look at that Firebird smoke him on the back end what a race 2112 and an 8000 speed by the Firebird Yeah, 2110. He's moving up. And the Camaro will go to the 212 club. All right. It's the Judge and the Willies. Good race. 1 2 and a 2000s advantage. Willies with the advantage on the inside lane. And he'll keep it. Wow, 2109. Let's go. Okay. Purple Thunder Chicken versus the Mad Maverick. Thunder Chicken all the way, but a two, one, two, fours. Eh. 14,000th advantage in the far lane. Wow, and look at the Mad Maverick all of a sudden with a two, one, oh, nine. Well, it is what it is. This is what I'm talking about inconsistency. <laughs> so, let's just. For consistency's sake, run this 62 Corvette against that Mad Maverick that just ran a 2109. Let's see if we can do that again. I use the term consistent with Johnny Lightning very loosely. Hmm. I don't know what happened there. He's hit a flat or something. Also with the Mad Mavericks. They do sit a little high, and I think that gives them a disadvantage on the track myself. 2116 by the Corvette. We'll get them. So, right now, I would say these four cars definitely go and fit in that, in the weight class. They've proven themselves. So, and they're both, they're all four 211 are good. Or better. So. Let's see who's going first. To race against. And fill the class. Probably won't get all the spots filled this week. But that's alright. Wow, look at that's a good race. 2103 to 08 with a 5000 speed. Convertible Corvette with the advantage. 2104 and a 5,000 speed. Very good. It definitely pays to work these Johnnies if you like racing them. Hardtop Corvette in the far lane. 2115 to 07. Wow. 8,000 advantage by the Willies. 
102, 107, the time to beat. And the Willies will move on. All right, third and fourth to compete in the class. Let's see who's going to be third and who's going to be fourth. Wow, 210, fastest time recorded tonight so far in the races. 14,000 advantage by the Firebird. Wow, 2107, very good. Let's see who's going first and second. <laughs> Whoa, let's go. Yeah, that little Corvette just pulled a 2095. That's crazy to me. Crazy, 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 man. But that's Johnny Lightning. They can surprise you. And that's what's exciting about a Johnny Lightning race. Because you have no idea who's going to win until you put them on the track. Remember, everybody's fast at home. It's not until you go to another track and compete against other racers that you find out where you're really at. So the Corvette. Hoo hoo hoo, 2095, huh? All right. Let's see where he stands and we'll put him up against the smuggler. For spot number 11 in the Johnny Lightning class. Smuggler with a 6,000 speed. Smuggler was showing off during the week with some individual times. He sure can get it up to speed. 2102 by the Smuggler. Good race. Ha <laughs> 2099, but only a 1,000 speed. Let's run them again. Smuggler will have to get a 2099 and a greater than 1,000 speed. 2092 <laughs> and a 9,000 speed will do it. So that white Corvette is not smuggler fast. Let's see if he's number 15 X-Men Camaro fast. Ooh, 10,000 speed. 2106 and the Corvette on the outside here. Oh yeah. So that Corvette gonna get into the top 15. This is for spot 14 in the lineup. The X-Men Lincoln Continental. And just in case you're wondering. Woo! 2102 and a 1-1. One, one. 2102 and a 9,000 speed. Needed by that Continental. 2109, but does not beat a 2106. And he's moving up. Let's see what he's got for Mr. Norm's Charger. Norm, no stranger here at Mile High Raceway. He's been in the ranks since there's been a Johnny class. Woo! Putting it down with a 4,000 speed. 2106 put down by Mr. Norm on the near side. And it's good enough to hold. So after a little bit of tuning up at the shop, the convertible Corvette finds its way back into the rankings at number 14. So Proc and Howell now. Gonna see if that Willys can get in. Going for spot 15 in the Lincoln Continental. Let's see what he's got. Oh, he does get him. Wow, 2104 to 07. 2104 and a 3000 speed by the Willys. Let's see if the Continental can catch him. No, he cannot. Now taking on the new place Corvette. Look at the race. Let's go. 4,000 speed. 2108 by the Corvette. Now on the near side. Yeah. And he'll stick. Which takes us to the Pontiac Firebird. Let's see what he does against X Men Continental. Firebird throwing down the fastest time tonight in the race. 2107. Pulling it off here. 
and a greater than 6,000 speed will be needed by the X-Man Continental. 2106. And a 7,000, 6,000 speed, 7,000 speed. Let's run them again. Firebird at a 46.6. Yeah, Continental seems to be a little faster. We'll run them one more time. 2108 and a 2000 speed. Two one oh six and a 10,000 speed. That's good for me. Let's see if he can take out the newly placed willies. Jeez, he does take them out. 2107 and a 12,000 speed. 2107, but not greater than a 12,000 speed. But can he take out this convertible Corvette? Fastest one of the night. At least side by side. Is the Firebird. Let's see it. Good race. 2114 and a 7,000 speed. Track temperature of 76 degrees. Firebird on a tear. So far tonight, nobody's been able to get past Mr. Norm's charger, currently holding the 13th position. Wow, Mr. Norm with a 1,000 speed. That was a really good race. Definitely my favorite die cast to race, Johnny Lightning. Really dig these cars, and I hope you folks are enjoying the race. Mr. Norm on the outside now with the advantage. Wow, 2106 and a 4,000 speed by the Firebird. We're going to have to roll those again. 2106 and a 4,000 speed. Mr. Norm on the outside now here. Mr. Norm taking care of business. But the Firebird landing in the 14th position. Not too bad at all. So we're going to roll that hard top Corvette, the last one of the night here. As time is pressing on, I don't want to don't want to go over that 30 mark. Let's run him against the custom Tornado. Good race. 1000 speed. And of course, the times are going to slow down as we get further into the ranks. Two one one nine, and a two one two zero oh. is going to get him a shot at the X Men Camaro. Ooh, he does it too by ten thousands. Does the Camaro shut him down? Yes, he does. Two one one six, and an eight thousand speed or greater, or the Camaro stays in his place. And the Camaro with a commanding win there. And that will sum up Friday Night Lightning for this week. So we have four cars into the lineup. Firebird placing 14th. Convertible Corvette placing 15th. Willys placing 16th. And the hardtop Corvette placing 19th. Which leaves two spots open. We'll see next week. I know we have another one at least arriving at Mile High Raceway um, that we've been waiting on. So he's going to be introduced into the ranks next week. And which is good because we have two, four, five, one more spot open. And we'll run these off next week and see where who's going to place and who ain't. Should be good.
Thanks for joining us for Friday Night Lightning. And remember, if it isn't fast, at least it'll look good on the shelf. And I'll leave you with 75 grams of disappointment. Hmm. And there it is. Have a good night.